Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this interesting problem that involves if and then statement. Let's look at this problem now. If x equals to 7 plus 4 times square root of 3, then we are going to find the value of these four parts. This one, this one, this one, and finally this one. So let's go ahead and get started with our part one. This one right now we're gonna do if x equal to seven plus four times square root of three, we are going to find the value of x plus one over x. And here's our very first step. We already got this x value. Now we are going to calculate one over x value. So one over x is going to be simply one divided by x value is this one. I'm going to just copy it down. 7 plus 4 times square root of 3. Now we can see that we got the radicals at the denominator. So we are going to rationalize the denominator by just multiplying by its conjugate, which is going to be 7 minus 4 times square root of 3. We are going to multiply and divide. So let's go ahead and multiply and divide by its conjugate. That's the very first step we are going to do. 7 minus 4 times the square root of 3. Now we are going to multiply 1 times this top part and at the denominator we are going to multiply these two binomials and here I have just wrote down nicely as you can see and now let's focus on this denominator part I have just copied it down over here and we are going to simplify that one and as we can see that we see these two factor as the product of difference and the sum so we are going to use this formula so in this case this is going to be our a this is b likewise this is a this is b so this could be written as 7 square minus 4 times square root of 3 and then square so 7 square is going to be simply 49 minus this is 4 square is 16 times this square square root cancel each other out we got this 3 so we got 49 minus 16 times 3 is 48 that is going to give us 1 so thus we can write this one as 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 and divided by this whole thing comes out to be simply 1 we are going to divide it by 1. So thus we got our 1 over x value as 7 minus 4 times square root of 3. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the value of x plus 1 over x. So let's go ahead and find the value x plus 1 over x. And we know our x value is this one 7 plus 4 times square root of 3 and 1 over x value is this one so let's put down plus 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 and here we can see that these two terms cross each other out so thus our x plus 1 over x value turns out to be a 7 plus 7 gives us 14 so thus our x plus 1 over x value turns out to be 14 and here's our part two. This time we are going to find the value of x square plus one over x square if x equal to seven plus four times square root of three. And here's the very first step we are going to do. We are going to take the square of x plus one over x and then power two. And now we are going to expand this binomial by using this a plus b square formula. So this could be simply written as x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 times x times 1 over x. Let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side that could be written as x square plus this could be written as 1 over x square. Here this x and x crosses out this one. We just simply got 2 
over here and on the left hand side we know x plus 1 over x is simply 14 so I can write this one 14 square so on the left hand side 14 square gives us 196 equal to x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 I'm going to move this 2 on the left hand side so we got 196 minus 2 equal to x square plus 1 over x square so thus this x square plus 1 x square could be written as 196 minus 2 is going to give us 194 so thus our x square plus 1 over x square value turns out to be 194 and here's our part 3 now we are going to calculate the value of square root of x plus 1 over square root of x if x is 7 plus 4 times square root of 3 and here's our very first step let's go ahead and take the square of this square root of x plus 1 over square root of x we're going to take the power 2 and here's the formula that we will be using to expand this binomial so i can write this one as square root of x and then square plus 1 over square root of x and then square again plus 2 times square root of x times 1 over square root of x now we can see that on the right hand side the square and square root they undo each other we ended up simply x plus likewise this square square root gone so we ended up with 1 over x this square root of x and this square root of x they cross each other out we got plus 2 and we know that x plus 1 over x is simply 14 so therefore we are going to replace this one by 14 so we got 14 plus 2 means equal to 16 now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so i'm going to take the square root on this side and square root on this side as well so this square and square root they undo each other we just simply ended up with the square root of x plus 1 over square root of x and we know that the square root of 16 is positive or negative 4 so thus our value for square root of x plus 1 over square root of x turns out to be a positive or negative 4 and here's our part 4 now we are going to calculate the value of square root of x minus 1 over square root of x and here's the very first step we are going to take the square of this square root of x minus 1 over square root of x and now we are going to use this a minus b square formula to expand this binomial so this is going to give us square root of x and then a square plus this is going to be a 1 over square root of x and then a square minus 2 times square root of x times 1 over square root of x so the right hand side once again this square and square root they undo each other we got x plus once again this square square root they undo each other we got 1 over x and they cross each other out we got a minus 2 and now we know that x plus 1 over x is 14 so we can replace it by 14 and then minus 2 means we got 12 on the right hand side now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so we got on this side this is gone this one so we got square root of x minus 1 over square root of x equals to positive or negative and then you can see that the square root of 12 could be simplified as 2 times square root of 
3. So that's the value of square root of x minus 1 over square root of x turns out to be positive or negative 2 times square root of 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.